Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a video updating you guys on how to make a trade bot. My other video got a lot of support and you guys wanted to see how to do it on a VPS so your computer didn't have to run 24-7. So this one will require you have a DigitalOcean VPS, which is $5 a month, which isn't too bad. Um, it's one of the cheaper VPSs. This probably is the cheapest. But for this, you will also need to download PuTTY, FileZilla, Steam Desktop Authenticator, uh, and you'll just have to have an unused Steam account. So, all those things are free. The Steam account, you'll have to put $5 on the account. That's no big deal, because you can still spend the $5. You can buy another account of CSGO or whatever you want to do. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit Create Droplet right here. Once you sign into DigitalOcean. I'll leave a link to that down in the description where you guys can sign up for that and get some free credit. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to leave all this stuff default and you're going to change this to $5 a month. I mean, you can go up if you want, but it's, it's, it's really useless. You're going to pick the server that's closest to you, and mine, I'm just going to use New York here. And for this, I'm just going to change it to trade bot, like that, and I'll hit create. So this will take a minute to load up. Uh, they'll send you an email with your login on your email that's linked to the account. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to open up FileZilla and put that to one side and you'll open up PuTTY and put that to the other side. So once it's done here, it should just take a minute. So here's the IP to the DigitalOcean. We'll do that and we'll paste that into PuTTY and hit open and just hit no to that. I'll put that in for host here for later. We'll do root. And now I'm going to go to my email and look for the email they just sent me. I'm still waiting for it to come in, but I'll, I'll be right back when I do get the email, guys. Okay, guys, I just got the email. I just copied the password from the email, and I'm going to go to the, my putty here and just right-click one time and hit enter. Nothing will show up, but it will, like, it will change. And then you just right-click again and hit enter. Now you're going to enter a new password. So this can be anything you want, and you're going to retype your new password. Now you're into the trade bot. So the next thing you guys are going to do is we're going to have to install some stuff. So I'm going to leave all these commands down in the description below for you guys to look at and just paste in. So you're going to paste this first one in. And so for these first three, we're just going to paste the first three on the list into this command line real quick, and we're going to install some stuff. And you'll push Y when that comes up. Now we're going to paste, this, once this is done, we're going to paste the next command in to restart Apache. And this shouldn't take too long. And there we go. So, now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to log in to our DigitalOcean store. For the password, we're going to use the new password we just made. The port is going to be 22. And the username will be root for everybody. And we'll hit quick connect. And we'll say OK. Now we're going to go back, we're going to hit this button right here, and we're going to look for a var, and we're going to go to www. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new directory called bot, and you'll hit enter. So at this point, you're going to want to download the files, I'll have the link down in the description. So here are my files, and what you're going to do is you're going to open up your bot folder, you're going to open up your actual folder for the trade bot and you're gonna drag all these files in here so this will take a lot a while because there are 4,000 files queued if you look down here the node mod modules folder is like takes a lot of time so yeah it just it, it takes a while so when that's done I'll be back oh okay, you guys it just finished so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to config.json and we're gonna right click and hit view and edit we're going to do OK. So what we're going to do here is put all the bot's information in. So my bot's username is big Cisco, uh, I'm trying to remember, bot01. So I'm going to put the password in off camera. For the identity and shared secret, what you're going to need is you're going to need Steam Desktop Authenticator. And you'll hit set up new account and you'll log in to your account on this and this will give you your codes instantly if you have a problem reading the file i'm about to show you hit this button here and set up encryption and get rid of the encryption 
so you can close that out once you add your bot and move all this stuff to the side. You're gonna open the folder that the Steam Desktop Authenticator came in and open MA files and look for the one for your bot. Mine is this one. And we're gonna edit that. And see right here it says shared secret and you go all the way to the equal sign and copy that. And that's the shared secret, so you put it in here for shared secret. And now we go back and this up for you guys. We're looking for identity secret. And once we see it right here, take it and copy that and paste it in here for identity secret. So I'll be right back after I put my password in and then we can continue on with the next step. Oh you guys, I'm back. So now the next thing we can do, now we have our bot set up, the reason I had you guys install Apache was so you had this HTML for you. This is technically a website too. So what you're, you can do is you can make a simple HTML website named index.html um, that tells people what to click on to trade with your bot. So if they find it on the internet, so like you can link the link, uh, the IP to your friends and they can click the link to trade with the bot. So I just uploaded the file right there. So now if we go here and paste the link into the URL, little thing, I mean, you guys should make it fancier, but I just wanted to make a quick website. So they can click this link and they can, it should link them to the bot trade page and they can, you know, send stuff to the bot and get stuff back. But I can leave this, the simple, the sample page in the description below. Uh, you, what you will need to do is you need to put the bot steam trade link right here instead of mine. And that's the basic layout for the site. Uh, I do suggest you guys add some stuff to it, but that's just that's good enough for now. So now you're gonna go back to the commands I have down in the comments to paste into Putty. And you're gonna paste in the first one, and now you're gonna paste in this next one. And you're just gonna keep going down the list. Whenever it does that, you just push Y. We're just going to go down this whole list of commands to install. And once we're at the end, the bot will be fully up and ready to go. So this one will take a little bit, I think. But if you guys need any help setting this up, just leave a comment down below and I can help you guys out. Uh, if you guys want to take a look at the free, the full free version, like you don't have to pay for the hosting every month and all that, I'll leave an annotation on the screen at the beginning of the video and probably right now if I remember. But for sure it's going to be down in the comments and at the beginning of the video. But this one's $5 a month, but for the other one you have to have your computer on 24-7, so you have to pay for the power for that. But you're just going to continue installing all these commands. One by one. It does take a little bit, but I think it's worth it. It's not very hard to do, and yeah, pretty good trade bot. So the way this bot works is it accepts anything that's profit to the bot. So um, it, you, by default it uses the Steam Market, but you can change the bot code to use Steam Analyst or whatever site you want. Um, I don't really recommend that because it can cause some glitches with the bot. So now that everything's set up with the Forever Start and all those files, when you type in this last one, that will actually start the bot. Now you'll see your bot's ready now, so now it will be fully ready to trade. This bot will be able to trade, and you see it does come online on Team Fortress 2. So that's what I have my bot set up to trade on. So when you go to... I can open this one. When you edit those files on the actual config file, it will have this game idle thing. So what that's for is what game you want to idle on. So 440 is uh, Team Fortress 2. Uh, 550 is Left 4 Dead 2, Dota 2 is 570, and CSGO is 730. If you don't know how to find that, you can find it on Steam, or you can just type it into Google, and like, what's the Steam ID, or the game ID for whatever game. But uh, in the info thing here, it has the IDs for some common games. But my bot is ready and up to, like, just ready to trade right now. So, thank you guys for watching. I think that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment down in the description. Uh, I'll put a link on the screen right now if you want to go to the full free one. But thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.